And so far, the crowd response, all of you guys out there are digging it. Those that have figured this thing out, what we bought thing is brilliant. This is one of the coolest cars that I have ever owned or driven in my life. But here we go. It might be a little bit loud, but we're at the drag strip, but we're here to reveal. One second. So we're here to reveal something that I have had for about three days now. So I've been teasing this though on Instagram and other social media platforms that I have. And so far the crowd response, all of you guys out there are digging it. Those that have figured this thing out, what we bought. We are here at Jackson Dragway with our friends from HPR, Ken and Chris. They just built this truck, so they're gonna run it behind us, making about, what does this thing make, like 700 horsepower? So it should be pretty saucy. So we've got Chris's car, gonna be running it tonight with the new Vortec, and he's on E85. Sorry guys, it's loud. Like I said, we're here to reveal something that I've had for a few days, but I've been teasing this for a couple of weeks on Instagram and my other social media platforms. And so far, the ones that have guessed it, which is actually quite a bit of you, are digging it. It's, it's been a huge home run success. Everybody's really excited to see what it is. If you're a car enthusiast, I think they're gonna really appreciate this. And uh, anyway, a little bit of backstory before we get started is a buddy of mine, about two weeks ago, bought this same car in a different color. And uh, he showed up, he wanted to take me for a ride. I said, bro, you're gonna have to give me the keys. I wanna take this thing for a spin because I've never sat in one and I've never driven one, never even really been that close up to one. And uh, by the end of it, by the end of this like three minute test drive, I said, Move heaven and earth. I don't care what it costs. I need to have this at least until the 2024 Mustang, which is not revealed yet, comes out. It's gonna be some fast stuff tonight. Anyway, I digress, guys. Let's turn the camera around, and show you our new hotness, and this thing is brilliant. This is one of the coolest cars that I have ever owned or driven in my life. But here we go. Is that a Supra? Dude, is it a Supra? Is that a Supra? Dude, is this a freaking Supra? Toyota Supra 2022, the GR 3.0 Premium. It's loud, it's proud out here. And we have now on the channel a little bit of import. So we've been American Muscle for years now, but I wanted to taste a couple of the other flavors off the rainbow, if that makes any sense. I wanted to go to the dark side until we know a little bit more about the 2024 Mustang. But I had the Ranger, I've got the motorcycle still, I've got the Harley, that's not going anywhere, I love that. But the Ranger had to go. So I was gonna do this whole off-road adventure thing with that, but I miss going fast. And I think that all of you guys out there watching the content miss going fast as well. So we're bringing it back, but with a twist. Toyota BMW <laughs> Supra. This thing is so sick. I love the driving characteristics of this. If you've never been in one of these cars before everybody hates on it, yes, it's a BMW, but that's not a bad thing. So full transparency, I have not grown up being a super loyalist. So the fact that it is, you know, 90% BMW does not hurt my feelings. Um, it's still a phenomenal car. And uh, you know, that German ingenuity really, uh, it, it's it's amazing. So anyway, let's uh, let's keep covering it. But I just want to put that out there. I don't care if it's a Beamer or not. It's a great car. This is called Turbulence Gray, and it is absolutely stunning. And uh, it is the premium, so they come completely fully loaded. Let's open it up. Show you what's going on. So it is really tricked out, guys. I'm very luxurious in here. And we will go further into detail in uh, upcoming videos more about this car because, believe it or not, some of the followers that have figured out what I bought are not really familiar with what the Supra has to offer. You know, the horsepower, what they put down, the weight. I mean, anything about them. It's just, it's an unfamiliar territory with the uh, GR Supra here. So we are going to uh, cover that in the near future in upcoming videos. Maybe the next we'll do a, a more thorough walk around and a driving review, give you my impressions on what I feel, especially coming from a 2021 Mach 1. How does this compare? That's gonna be coming up real soon. Anyway, love the styling here. So this is an inline six, twin scroll single turbo. 
and they are severely underrated i will tell you from the factor they claim 382 horsepower to the crank but every time that these things get dyno the internet they're always busting like right at about 400 wheel it's crazy so germany bmw and toyota supra from japan have severely underrated this car it is way faster than the what it shows on paper a bit interesting having a two-door sports car and that's exactly what this is it's a sports car it's uh it's fantastic it's very light 3400 pounds like i said a second ago i've never driven anything anything close to this it's very kind of exotic it is glued it is a grip machine to the road it honestly is all right so let's hop inside real quick show you what's up all right so you got a uh, analog and digital dash here we'll just kind of fire it up a little bit let's see if we can get it going here he comes to life welcome alex but i missed it but it actually flashes like super up here it's pretty sick but anyway Ooh. so very luxurious got the heads up display you can see it blinking right there pretty cool stuff this tailgate is open i did open it up it's only got two seats so anyway the trunk is right there i can uh you know grab stuff out of the trunk if i need to got the speakers back there this thing is super premium super luxurious i have not owned or driven anything quite this exotic uh or anything like this at, at all this is this is nuts in my opinion this is crazy very far departure away from what we have been doing on the channel and i think that a lot of you guys will actually appreciate that because let's be honest um, I've owned about four or five S550s and we've been building them all the same way. So this is going to be a completely vast different story and we have mods and all that already. Some of it's already actually at the house and we have a bunch of stuff on the way and we have new companies going to be working with and we're going to really play with this thing. We're going to really wake this thing up. We're going to play with it and we're going to have so we're going to have a lot of fun with it. It's also going to be a big learning experience for me and I'm glad to be able to have you guys along for the ride so you know we can have that adventure and show and tell a little bit on the internet. This is all these are all living documents and uh, you know a lot of my Mustang purists out there are going to be like, "Oh my gosh, dude went Supra. He went freaking import." But guys, I mean, you, who doesn't like a Supra? It's got that legacy, that heritage behind it that mm. everybody loves, especially the Mark 4s. But this being a Mark 5, you know it's got a lot of people on their toes you know especially with the collaboration with bmw but again i don't see that as a bad thing